last section, we discussed exhaustingly the amount of I.O. options that are available in the new Avid release. However, what you haven't seen is the new Groovy Capture Tool. Uh, there's actually two, cap two new Capture Tools in Media Composer. There's one for 2D and one for 3D. And while they use the same window, the 3D version looks a lot different with a lot more options. But let's start off small. Let's start out with the 2D. So I'm going to go up to my Tools and go to Capture. And as promised, we have the groovy looking new capture tool. Uh, as you see, uh, just like the rest of the interface, we have dockable windows. So I can certainly drag, let's say my super bin over to here. And while that may be great to save space, I, I don't recommend it. Why? Because traditionally when you're done capturing, you close the window. You close this window, your super bin's in it, you exit out of your project. That's not cool. So let's uh, actually undock this and go to our capture tool. Now you'll notice a, uh, besides the new look, we have another tool here. And I'll go over that in one moment after I get uh, done with some of the down and dirty stuff. Uh, we also have more audio tracks we can enable during recording. Uh, these can either be mono tracks by clicking them, or I can go beneath the uh, individual tracks and select mono, stereo, or various 5, 1, or 7, 1 options. And when I select these, it automatically pairs those tracks up. To illustrate that, let's turn all these off and select a stereo or a, a, a surround 5.1 and you'll see that it blocks off the six channels, uh, the five channels and then the six for the sub. Uh, as we go down in the capture tool, you'll see that we have video options. We have AJA popping up. That's because I have an AJA Kona 3 card, which I love dearly, in my system. If I select this, obviously I can bounce back and forth between whatever I have uh, selected. So now that you've seen that I have AJA here, I can actually go up to this gear tool here. And when I launch this, some of you who have used Final Cut or Premiere may recognize this window you'll see that I get the Kona 3 control panel. Uh, this is, works exclusively with the uh, uh, AJA line of products, so it'll look a little bit different for Blackmagic or Matrox, etc. Now, this tool is very important because the tool is not made by Avid, meaning the hardware is not made by Avid. There, there's a software layer. This is the plugin that you have to go to the manufacturer's website and install in order for Avid to talk to the hardware. Within here, I tell the hardware how to act Media Composer can then see it and take that signal from the card. This can be things like up, down, cross conversion, uh, cadence detection, uh, maybe some color adjustments on ingest. And this is very important because if these settings don't match what Avid is expecting, that can cause hiccups. Uh, those of you who have used Final Cut and Premiere have probably seen that many a time when these are not set correctly. Another benefit of using these cards is you actually get hardware acceleration built on the card. Uh, for example, if you were to use a Bluefish 444 card, they are, have 12-bit processing and, and do a lot of the heavy lifting on the card. Whereas if you go down the line to uh, other brands, they may not have as much processing or as higher bit rate on the card. So always choose your card uh, wisely. So I'm going to close this and go back to the capture tool. As we move further down on the capture tool, you'll see that we have the bin drop down menu where I can select the bin I record to, which you've uh, no, un undoubtedly used before. We also have our resolution drop down menu. And if I select this, you'll see that we have uh, the standards. We have the Avid Codec Du Jour DNX HD, as well as XD Cam 1 to 1, and then Apple ProRes, which is brand new. But before we get into ProRes, let's jump back up to DNX HD. Uh, being that it's Avid's codec, Avid wrote it, their software works better with DNX HD than it does any other codec. The codec engine behind Media Composer is actually hardwired, so to speak, to use these codecs. So you will always get better performance, better transcoding, better encoding, and just better usability all around by using DNX HD as opposed to another codec. I've often gotten asked, well, Michael, what's the difference between Apple ProRes and DNX HD, and how are they related? Well, let's talk about that a little bit.